the studios of Club Radio, they're never quite sure whether the next broadcast may be their last. Openly critical of the government, the station has lost most of its advertising and had its frequencies reduced. Club Radio. I have the fear that these guys, and especially our Prime Minister, believe that they, first of all, they can do what they want. They are so full of hatred. They hate their so-called enemies. They believe that everybody who does not think the same way as they do are the enemies. In parts of Central and Eastern Europe, among fully-fledged members of the European Union, the politics of nationalism is taking root. Here in Hungary, the Prime Minister Viktor Orban is said to take his cue from Russia's Vladimir Putin, as former Foreign Minister Peter Balash explains. Mr. Orban confessed uh, that his uh, models are uh, uh, Putin, uh, uh, Erdogan from Turkey and other, he said, successful leaders. The biggest danger of this Orban model is uh, uh, getting attractive for others. Why not to use it? Poland does appear to be doing just that, restricting judicial and media freedoms. And with Slovakia and the Czech Republic completing the so-called Visegrad group, all four countries pushed back last year against the EU's planned refugee quota system. Last summer, Hungary's highways and railway stations were packed with refugees, most making their way to Germany. Now, they're nowhere to be seen. The country seemingly cleansed its southern border with Serbia on the so-called Balkan route, sealed with razor wire. Hungary's Prime Minister says he's defending Europe's Christian values against the mainly Muslim refugees. The country's small resident Muslim community has noted a rise in hate crimes and death threats as a result. The government communicated that immigration equals the arrival of Islamic terrorism into the country. They even justified it with the Paris attacks. If you repeat something often enough, people will believe it. I put those concerns to the government's chief spokesman. It's most definitely not anti-religious. Integration of uh, Muslim people in Western Europe is unsuccessful. There are parallel societies. When you call out attention to the fact that uh, this is the case in most Western European countries for the past couple of decades, uh, then, then you talk about reality. What the Hungarian government calls reality, others might call Islamophobia. And it is a growing problem across much of Europe. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Budapest.